4236-1680. And what we have here is the Amberola 30, Edison 4-Minute Player. Why is it called an Amberola 30? Because the factory sold them for $30. You bought an Amberola 50, it was 50, Amberola 75 was 75. When you buy a machine, as I always state, you want to make sure that everything is on this phonograph. <clears throat> so let's look. It has the original metal grill in the front, which is very important on these. And these came <clears throat> wood fold painted. This is about a 1916 model. You also want to make sure that this grill that fits in the front is there. You want to make sure that the Diamond C reproducer is here. These are made out of pot metal and they swell like pot metal. This one has a slight crack in it, but that shouldn't affect any in the plane till I get it apart and look. You unscrew the thumb screws on these and because the pot metal swells, you want to make sure that the reproducer will come out. This one does. These have a single spring motor. Edison said that they would play two to three cylinders on one winding. I've never gotten three plays out of one of these, maybe one and a half. They only play the four minute blue amber all record like this. This is in a, a blue amber all box. When you take them off, the cylinders are blue. This is the only record you do because this has a diamond stylus in it, like a diamond disc. Edison also created a four minute wax cylinder, and their boxes are green like this. And this is a four minute wax cylinder. If you put this on your Amberola, because of the diamond stylus, it will just plow through that like a plow in the field. It will absolutely ruin that record, and you'll be done. They all came in oak. This machine is all original. I'm going to do a restoration on this. These are fun. These are a little portable. So you could take this out in the backyard, you know, and you're having a little fire pit and barbecue. And you, could, you could play Uncle Joss on this for all your friends, and they'll go, who's that guy? It's a lot of fun. You could take it on picnics. And that's what they did with these. These were portable machines. They're very, very light. You might weigh 20 pounds. This is a lot of fun in a hobby, but make sure everything's there. The other thing about the Amber Author is the early versions, early 15 machines, had a pinstripe down here, like a little arrow in it, and a couple of dots. And they stopped that quickly in production. It also had in the back here of the casting, they had a screw that came up over here on the side where you could adjust the speed and they got rid of that. You have to take this casting off to adjust the speed on the machine. It's a lot of fun. These are nice little pointers. This thing is all here. It's a wonderful Amberola. All the veneer is in really good condition. It hasn't been mistreated. Nobody's nailed the lid down. Everything's here. The crank is here, the original crank. These are great machines. I love this hobby. I think it's a lot of fun, and I hope you enjoyed this video, and that's my tip for the day.